kutoka sehemu moja kwenda sehemu nyingine na crypto ni one of the very good technology ambayo imekuja kutu kutuinua sisi kama wa Tanzania lakini pia na dunia kwa jumla kwa sababu unapokuwa unataka kufanya issue mbalimbali mbali za crypto huwa hakunaga connection yani unaweza kupata connection kwa maana upate education lakini from there you can do on your own suppose umejifunza labda ku trade unakutaka ku trade ni tofauti na vile unavyoenda kuomba kazi sehemu utakwambia ise au mwezi mmoja utanipa mimi then mwezi mwingine ndio uta huko ni tofauti once you know how to trade una trade na unapata pesa yako so it's something ambacho kwa mtu ambaye analamika wengine wana connection if you learn this idea na ukaji equip vizuri kwenye crypto i say you be unstoppable so uta, utafika mbali sana so it's very important to tujifunze hizi fursa mbalimbali ambazo zipo kwenye crypto holders tutasaidia kupiga step moja kwenda step nyingine as i've said naenda kuzungumza fursa 17 ambazo zinaweza zikatusaidia sisi kama vijana uh, wa, wa kitanzania na ambao pia sio wa kitanzania sasa fursa kwanza kabisa ambayo tunaweza tukaipata kwenye uli mwengu wa cryptocurrency fursa kwanza kabisa tunasema ni ni, ni ni holdings of coins wote ni mashahidi kwamba coins huwa zina crypto, crypto kama crypto ina tabia ya kupanda na kushuka so unapokuwa umeipata coin ikiwa bado iko down then ikaja ku appreciate maki you going to make a lot of money i give an example kwa mfano mimi nimeifahamu shiba shiba kama shiba ikiwa na 0.11 yani sasa hivi shiba tunaona ina 0.4 nafikiri ila personally mimi nimejua shiba ikiwa na 0.11 na pasema 0.11 manake yani una 0.00000 ikishafika 0.11 ndo namba inafuata sasa nakumbuka at that time ndo hivyo nikanunua tu za dola 80 nikanunua za dola 80 then in just like 3 4 months ikapanda sana yani uweza mimi dola 80 ilienda paka milioni 20 kwa maana ilikuwa ni almost kama laki na 85 laki na 85 ikaenda paka milioni 20 mimi na rafiki yangu ambaye tuko naye pia kwa ni baadhi ya group yeye aliwekaga dola 100 you can't imagine shiba ilimpa dola 50 yani it's something i know and liona sasa this is the powerfulness ya what you call holdings of coins so unapoamua ku hold coins for long term kuna uwezekano mkubwa zikaja kukusaidia kikubwa make sure unaangalia coin ambazo zina use case na kama sio mzuri sana kwenye kwenye coins uliza watu kuna wakina kasonzo hapo wakina leo ni wapo watu wengi au mimi utaangalia mwenyewe atakayekuwa mwepesi kwa hapo so unaweza kumuuliza ese coin zipi ambazo unaona ni nzuri zaidi ku hold atakusaidia ese chukua hii chukua hii lakini ni vizuri hakuna mtu ambaye ana anajua a project 100% kwamba maybe itakaa in the next 10 it depends so anapokuwa amekupa hiyo idea kwamba chukua coin hii na hii make sure na wewe pia unafanya at least a simple research unaingia kwenye website yake soma hiyo coin inafanya nini so from there on then buy it So holdings of coin nasaidia. Mimi nakumbuka pia niliwahi kununua coin inaitwa Baby Doge. No sole inaitwa Baby Swap. Baby Swap ni one of the coin ambayo walikuwa na DeFi yao. So nakumbuka by that time nilinunua za dola 400. Nilinunua za dola 400 in just like two months ikapanda mpaka dola 5000. So I'm just giving you these examples ili muone eh, what you call powerfulness of holdings. So ni vizuri tuji keep pia kwa ni hold coins and no matter what you are doing unafanya trading unafanya nini holding of coins inakusaidia wewe uweze kujiongezea kipato au kujiongezea mtaji wako wa crypto so hiyo ni fursa ya kwanza ambayo uzuri wa fursa hii ya holdings of coin inahitaji elimu kubwa hata kama wewe ni mgeni ni just a matter of i say inahitaji coin check your agent unaweza kan check me and then i will show you what to do so that's the first opportunity ambayo ipo kwenye 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 cryptocurrency na imani nimeeleweka vizuri nimetoa ifana kutosha fursa ya pili ambayo tunaenda kujifunza inaitwa trading trading tuna spot trading tuna future trading so una uwezo wa kujifunza hii kidogo inahitaji ukae darasa ni tofauti na hold holding sahitaji mambo mengi ni just swala mtu amekuelekeza tu kidogo then you buy coins you hold them on your wallet 
lakini trading kidogo ina tofauti maana lazima ukae darasani lazima mtafute mtu akuelekeze lazima uingie i don't know youtube so lazima uji, ujiumize kwa maana ya kusoma then once you master it you can make a lot of money people are making a lot of money kupitia hizi trading kuna watu kuna watu ni day trader kuna watu ni swing so a lot of people are also doing this opportunity of trading pia mimi nashukuru Mungu ni one of the person ambaye anafanya pia hizo sport trading nafanya pia future trading lakini hata mu insisting tujitahidi sana kujifunza yana hakikisha unajifunza kwanza kabla hujajiengage kwenye hizi hizi fursa hasa ya trading uki master vizuri you can make a lot mimi naambia mtu mmoja ami the other thing kwamba hasa kwenye future you are going to lose a lot of money you have to be careful kwa sababu ni ni, ni fursa moja hapa ambayo you can earn a lot of money but you also you can lose a lot of money so you have to be careful what is needed ni kwamba hakisha umejifunza ukiweza kulijua soko vizuri na huenda trust me you can make a lot of money mimi na one of the person ambao nalo kusema ni mentor wangu yani nakumbuka last time like I mean two to three weeks ali alikuwa na trade future coin ya maana you can't imagine in two days alikuwa na trade dola 700 in two days kaenda paka dola 5000 so that's the powerfulness of knowing the market na yeye anakuambia kabisa ali lose a lot huko nyuma lakini losing that means unakuna jifunza sio ukate tamaa then losing losing then kuna siku tu itakuja will be a, a very profitable trader. So hiyo ni fursa pia moja hapo. Lakini pia unaweza pia kujifunza kufanya sport. Tunasema future kidogo ina high risk. Yaani kuna risk kubwa ya kupoteza sana pesa. But sport at least ukijifunza kwa uko mzuri is a very good way of earning money. Na sport from my experience mtu akiwa na mtaji mkubwa dola 1000, dola 2000, 3000 na kuendelea kwa sport ni kuzuri sana kwa sababu iki move tu kidogo then you have a very good profit unatoka na rafiki yangu pia mmoja ambaye anafanya sana i mean sport kwa hiyo mara nyingi ana trade na dola 5000 dola 10000 dola 9000 so coin ki move tu asilimia ngapi amepata dola 300 400 anatoka so coin then ana wait for tomorrow so this is the second opportunity ambayo ipo kwenye uh, easy i mean what you call cryptocurrencies na imani nimeeleweka hiyo ni fursa pia fursa tatu kuna kitu naita arbitrage kwenye crypto kuna kitu naita arbitrage tunapozungumza arbitrage tunasema in a simple term ni kwamba ni kitendo cha kununua coin unainunua coin ikiwa ikiwa na, na low price same fulani then unaenda kuiuza ikiwa na high price same fun. for example i give you an example unaweza kaingia mfano kwenye exchange ya KuCoin ukaangalia maybe price ya ADA price ya ADA maybe ni 0.35 lakini ukiingia Binance the same coin price ya ADA ina 0. maybe 3 that means there is the difference pale kama 0.03 so if i have a very, kama una pesa unaweza kaamua unaingia kwenye exchange ya ya, ya KuCoin unainunua ada ikiwa na maana ikiwa na bei ndogo wasi unainunua mfano za dola 100 unaziamisha unazipeleka Binance ukizifikisha Binance unaziuza kwa USDT zikishakuwa kwenye USDT unazirudisha tena i mean kukoin so you do the same ukishazifikisha Binance umeziuza maybe unaangalia difference pale dola 5 unaziuza ni USDT unazituma tena USDT kukoin una buy tena hata hivyo hivyo so you can make unaweza kushangaa maybe in a day umetengeneza dola 10 dola 15 dola 20 dola 100 depending na mtaji wako so this is also one of the uh, fursa ambayo ipo kwenye crypto arbitrage kwa una ingia kwenye exchange to for default then you just check the difference kuna baadhi ya sites zipo ambazo zinakuwa zinakuonyesha comparison exchange hii bei yake ni exchange hii bei yake ni then from there on unaweza kupata something unaweza kaa ukapata a very good difference na ukafanya uwe mchezo wa kuchukua coin huko unazipeleka huko then you get profit. Kwa ni arbitrage naweza nikai place another fursa ndani yake ndio kama hii tunasema P2P ya kwanza ndio arbitrage ya coin kama ni voeza between exchange and exchange na ya pili ndio hiyo kupitia platforms ambazo zina saidia watu waweze kuziana coin kama Binance P2P, OKEx pia wanayo, Paxful kwa zipo 
platform nyingi lakini fursa hii kidogo inahitaji uwe na mtaji mtu mwenye mtaji mkubwa maana ana survive vizuri mtu asije kutafuta ese nahitaji kuweza dola 1000 kuna kidogo kuna wateja utakuwa unapoteza so ni fursa nzuri but inahitaji mtaji lakini pia kumbuka hiyo ni P2P ni soko huria kuna competition sana so once you start utapata changamoto sana but ukipersist Mungu anaweza kusaidia kufika mbali kwa watu ambao wameanza muda mrefu they have advantage kwa sababu chelo wameshatengeneza majina so inakuwa ni obvious kwao kuendelea tu kudevelop lakini pia na wao wanapata challenge kwa usipoji weka vizuri na kujitofautisha na wengine that means hey, you are going to be left so hiyo ni fursa ya tatu ambayo unaweza ukaifanya kwa crypto na imani nasikika vizuri na nimeleka then tunaenda fursa nne ambayo ipo kwenye crypto kwa maana ya pesa za kidijitali tunaita ni mining mining kwa ruga nyepesi tunasema uh, ni, ni kama ku verify transaction naweza katoa mfano mdogo kwa mfano mimi na pesa kwenye tigo pesa na nataka kumtumia kasonzo napomtumia kasonzo lazima ile pesa yangu ipite kwenye network ya Tigo kwa maana Tigo wa verify transaction then wakati makato yao then instant ndio ingie kwa kwa kasonzo now the same idea kwenye crypto iko hivi napataka kumtumia BTC kasonzo wakati namtumia BTC mine au miner ni watu ambao wana verify transaction now the difference is kwenye mfumo wa kawaida wa Tigo pesa impesa wana verify transaction watu wanawajua kasonzo wanamjua mimi wanajua lakini kwa ni mining mine wanakuwa hawajui wanaofanya transaction but wao kazi yao ni ku verify transaction once they verify transaction wanapata zile what you say fee kuna zile fee ambazo wewe unapotuma unakatwa zile zinaenda kwa mine na kwa kwa faida ya darasa hili upande wa wa, wa verification of transaction sometimes unakuna unatuma BTC zinachelewa maybe kufika semfani kuna sometime ina peak uh, kuna baadhi ya, ya wallet inakupa ability ya ku customize fee unapoweka fee ndogo that means miner wanakuwa na terminate yani wana verify baadaye so it can take a lot of time pia kufanya verification but it pick a very good fee manake wanaigombania ku verify haraka ili kodi iweze kufika sehemu husika na imani nimeleka sasa mining ni nzuri but also inahitaji mtaji mkubwa manake lazima uwe na mining rigs ambazo zinakusaidia we uweze ku verify transaction na kupata short i have a friend of mine ingawa baada ya soko kuyumba kidogo naye aliyumba anafanya mining in Tanzania so ye, anasema setup ime nzima ina, ina cost kama around 15 million kama milioni 15 na yeye kwa setup yake nafikiri ilikuwa ni around kama milioni 7 8 kwa siku alikuwa anaingiza last time naongea naye alikuwa anaingiza around nafikiri kwa shilingi 28 nafikiri 28 per day ambapo 28 per day kuna cost za za umeme kwa sababu hizi mining rigs zinatumia umeme hapana tumia umeme wa shilingi saba lakini pia lazima uwe na bando lazima uwe online all the time so kwa mazingira yetu ni changamoto kwa sababu umeme unakatika na nini kwa lazima uwe karibu inapokatika unafanya setup ingawa at the days goes on now we have what we call uh, unazuka set automated kwa sababu kitokea umeme katika basi na lakini ukirudi ina ina, ina proceed so there is that opportunity of what we call mining so kielewa then you have a very good i mean capital you can also get money from mining so that's fursa namba 4 so you can mine coin like BTC Ethereum so it depends on your yourself then fursa namba 5 tunaitwa staking staking tunasema kwa ruga nyepesi ni kitendo cha kununua coin ni kitendo cha kununua coin na ku submit kwenye network usika hiyo coin then ile coin ulizo nunua ka submit kwa network zinasaidia ku maintain security ya hiyo network lakini pia na kusaidia wepesi wa verification ya transactions za hiyo network. For example, nimenua Tron na zistake kwenye Tron I mean platform. Then nakuwa napata I mean yeah, daily dividend. Kwa kuna kuna percent nakuwa napata. So kuna platform kama vile PancakeSwap lakini pia Binance. Ukiingia Binance kwenye Binance N 
kule kuna stake nyingi sana unazuka stake coins zako then unakuwa unapata percent kutokana na coins zako so you can stake on i mean what we call exchanges like binance lakini pia unaweza ka stake kwa other platforms kama pancake swap wana staking yao ya cake staking ni nzuri lakini ina changamoto zake one of the biggest challenge ni fluctuation ya coin always the best way to stake stake market na kwa iko down kwa mfano sasa hivi soko liko down i know mfano coin kama cake ilikuwa iliwahi ili kufika dola 20 lakini sasa hivi inacheza kwenye dola 3 4 that means if you buy it now soko liki appreciate there is a high chance to attain this island of sun so that's also one of the opportunity ambayo ipo kwa ni cryptocurrencies so you can stake coin like cardano polkadot so there is a lot of coins you can stake so you can stake on easy exchange like you can also stake on uh, other other platforms kama defi na na, na zingine so hiyo ni fursa ya tano jamani nasikika vizuri sika naongea mwenyewe tunasikika unasikika kwa msikio okay shukran sana tunaendelea now fursa ya sita kuna kitu tunaita master nodes Master nodes inataka kama kuiana na na staking tunasema ni, ni, ni hosting of full nodes of cryptocurrency network and then receiving rewards for supporting the network inataka kuiana na na, na, na staking na kuna coins zinazo support master node kama dash kuna z coin ni baadhi ya coins ambazo zina support what we call master node na kuna nua coin una submit kwa master node inakuwa inasaidia uzalishaji wa new coins then you, you get to reward from your coins and also may umezifanyia master no? so this is opportunity number 6 opportunity number 7 kuna kitu tunaita dividend paying coins kuna baadhi ya platforms exchanges wanakuwa wanakupa capability kwamba ile tu hali ya ku hold coins zao you get benefit from them for example mimi na coin ambazo ni zinua za kucoin Kukoi wana dividend every day kwa ku just ku hold coin yao ile ke inaitwa KCS na fikiri Kukoin Kukoin coin ile coin yao ki hold kwenye exchange yao maana every day you will be getting daily dividend depending na amount ambayo ume 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 hold and just holding could you stake just holding the coins kwenye exchange yao be getting daily dividend kuna kuna coin kama Neo, Vet, Pundex zote hizo zina support what you call dividend paying coins that they give you coins kutokana na tunakuzi hold coins zao so hiyo ni one also of the fursa kwa ukiona coin kama hizo you have a, a, a money you can buy kwa sababu hiyo inakuwa na attract watu wengi wanunue then waishikilie ili kwa price unakuta haiwezi hai, hai kushuka sana zana sana itakuwa na pana so that's fursa number saba. fursa number nane tunaita initial coin offering ICO initial coin offering tunasema in simple term ni kile kitendo cha ku cha kuinvest kwenye kwenye i mean ni kitendo cha kuinvest new coin una una invest new crypto coins au crypto currency project in exchange for token maana yake ni kwamba kwenye initial coin offering umeangalia coin iko vizuri then ukaamua kuinunua kabla haijaingia sokoni then the moment inaingia sokoni that means you be making a very good money utakuna tengeneza ile nzuri kuna watu ambao tumeona na nunua coin ikiwa dola 100 exchange yako ni exchange na panda dola 500 hiyo ni very normal kwa crypto but you have to be careful kwenye hizi initial coin offering others are very fake lakini initial initial coin offer ukiweza kujiridhisha na ikaja kufanya vizuri people are making a lot of money to purchase kwa sababu anakuwa amenunua at a cheap price then inakuja ku appreciate anakuja kuuza kwa kwa faida kubwa so this is also one of the opportunity ambayo ipo kwenye crypto currency so this is opportunity number eight opportunity number nine kuna vitu tunaviita airdrops airdrops tunasema is simply like receiving free crypto tokens for performing a certain action or holding a certain amount of coin so 
airdrops zipo nyingi kwa mfano kwa Binance kuna coin kama inaitwa Ape NFT coin Ape NFT imekuwa supported by Binance muda mrefu na wanai support mpaka mwaka huu 2023 nafikiri around June so ukiwa na coin kama Tron yani coin ambazo zipo under Tron blockchain unazo kama BTT wanakuwa nakupa NFT kila mwezi I mean Ape NFT kila mwezi kwa ukiona coin kama hiyo Ape NFT manake ni one of the coin ambayo iko supported Binance wanai support lakini the same coin ukiingia kuko imeshakuwa imeshakuwa listed kwa unaweza kaamua ukatenga hata dola mia yako nunua zako kuko na afusikilizia wakati huo unapata daily I mean is dividend au airdrops za Binance so unaweza kushangaa maybe ikaingia sokoni ikafanya maajabu na wewe unazo za kutosha kwenye kuko so lakini pia kama una una, una wallet ya Tron link unaweza pia kuziswap zipo you can deposit Tron or USDT TRC20 and then swap them to what you call uh, io io app nft or you can buy them on kucoin kumbuka binance bado haijawa listed lakini is one of the project that is very supported by binance that means there is a way kuna uwezekano ikaja kufanya vizuri huko mbeleni so hiyo ni ni, ni moja pia ya fursa ambazo zipo kwenye hizi airdrops lakini pia kuna exchange maarufu ambazo i mean platform maarufu ambazo zina reputation kama coin market cap ukiingia coin gecko kuna kipengele kabisa cha airdrops kwamba project ambazo zinaelekea kuja zina airdrops so go there search angalia utaratibu wao ulivyo kuna mmoja atakwambia share fanya hivi then you get this coins kwa sababu nzuri ni platform ambazo ni reputable tunazitumia sana kuangalia coins zetu na nini so hiyo ni moja pia ya fursa ya kupata hizo adini wa kikoloni new coins coins ambazo ni ni, ni airdrops. Okay, so fursa that's fursa number 9. Fursa number kumi kwenye ulimwengu wa crypto tunasema ni what you call affiliate marketing promoting cryptocurrency product or service. So kwa ambao tumekuwa tukiona kwenye kwenye ma groups mbalimbali watu wakishare link ya Binance na link za exchange nyingine. Unaposhare link yako ya Binance mtu aka sign up kupitia link yako that's one of the what we call affiliate marketing yeah. ukiingia pale kwenye Binance referral you can't imagine kuna watu wanaingiza mpaka 1 BTC just for referral referral what you means ni kwamba ukiingia mtu yote ambaye na exchange ya Binance una referral link ambayo watu wako ambao unawafahamu watu wako ambao unawafundisha unaweza kuapa link then wakaregister kupitia link yako advantage ni nini yule mtu aliregister kupitia wewe every time anafanya any transaction either na trade either anafanyaje kuna some kuna amount unakuna pewa kuna what you call a dividend unakuna pewa na hizo dividend zinasaidia kwenye vitu vingi zingine zinasaidia kwenye fee kwa unaweza kukuta wewe unapokuwa una swap coin zako fee inakuwa ndogo so that's also one of the good way of earning is is one i mean one of the opportunity ambayo kuna crypto so affiliate marketing ni one of the kwa kila exchange ukiingia Binance wana utaratibu wao na other platforms wanakuwa na utaratibu wao so ukiweza kuzi kuzi leverage vizuri za affiliate marketing maana kuna watu wanaingiza tu wamelala so you can have unaweza kawa na tuseme watu 1000 and all those people wanaendelea kufanya transaction that means we be earning from them na hii ni ni, ni process ambayo tayari imeshaweka kwenye platform kama Binance So that's why ukiingia and you have a very good community take this as a chance register then uwe na link yako na wewe then share to others so in pia one of the i mean opportunity ambayo ipo kwenye i mean crypto then fursa that's fursa number 10 fursa number 11 tunaita ni gaming kwenye crypto kuna way of earning through gaming kwa mfano kuna platform kama Remitano. Remitano wana game kabisa. You just play and then you earn. Una earn coin kama Dogecoin. So ukiwa na very good time ingia play. Kuna 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 coin kama Axie Infinity. Kuna coin kama Decentraland. Coins zote hizi zina support what you call gaming. Yaani gaming. Unafanya game, unakuna cheza huko na earn crypto. So this is also one of the 
opportunity na na game kama ile la mitano is free you just go and play games and then you end from there so he played one of the fulsa fulsa namba 11 fulsa namba 12 tunaita court content creation content creation Baba zungumzia content creation tunasema ni you be any creator for creating and sharing content. Kuna platform ambazo zimetengenezwa kwa ni creator zinakusaidia wewe uweze ku earn. Kama una capability nzuri ya kutengeneza articles mbalimbali, unaweza kaingia huko na kushare views zako then you earn. Kuna platform kama Minds. Ingia Google andika Minds, Minds, yani Minds ya kuongeza is Minds. Ina capability kwamba wewe unatengeneza content zako online. 